Hey, it's Yash, and now that we've made you a prompt engineering master, we're going to cover my favorite AI feature in Clay, Clayton. Now you can think of Clayton as an all-knowing, all-powerful, but very junior employee. It's oxymoronic because while it harnesses the power of both web scraping and AI to crawl the web and return whatever results you want, it only has as much context and instruction as you give it. The key to using Clayton effectively is employing all of the prompting principles we just covered in the last lesson. If you craft smart prompts, Clayton can truly do almost anything you ask it to. Let's show you how to get started with Clayton. First, head over to your enrichment panel. Type use AI in the search bar and select the use AI integration. Once you've selected use AI, choose the web research parentheses Clayton option. From there, you'll have to pick a Clayton model to go with. If you have questions about how all the models compare to one another, you can look at the compare models table for a quick overview. Now, our recommended best practice for model selection, especially with Clayton, is to start with Helium always and see how it performs. If you're not getting the results that you want, then you can test Neon and Argon as more expensive models for more complex tasks. And if you're still not getting the results that you want, it's worth giving OpenAI 01, 40, or Claude Opus a shot as well. And maybe even giving your prompt a second check as well. Prompt engineering, particularly for Clayton, is really an iterative process, so try your prompt and model on a few rows to start, iterate, refine, and then see how it scales. Now, once we've chosen a model, we have a couple of different options for getting started. Number one, preset templates. You have the option to use preset prompt templates from our templates library. We highly recommend checking these out before you start writing your own prompt, as we might have already crafted one that suits your needs. For example, let's say you want to find a company's 10K report. It's actually as simple as selecting the 10K template, inputting the company name from your table into the column, watching the automated prompt pop up, and then just hitting save and run rows. Your other source of building Clayton prompts is just quite simply to craft your own. You already went through the principles of becoming a master prompt engineer in the last lesson. Remember to use the SPICE framework and the meta prompter in Clayton to craft your own prompts like we did in the previous lesson. The only other additional element you need to consider when creating Clayton actions is the column output definition. If you want to return different parts of your scraping process in different variables, you can do so in column output sections. For example, when you're running Clayton to find recent fundraising information about a list of companies, we can use the defined column output to return funding stage, the amount, lead, investors, and the summary all in separate columns. You can see an example of that in this table right here. That's everything we've got for you on Clayton. Up next, AI formulas and conditional runs, one of the most underrated yet powerful features in Clay. See you there.